Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the 31st edition of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. We're going to be seeing some new faces today, which is good because we often cover the same creators. Zoe, Chloe, the whole gang. Can you believe we're already 31 episodes into this thing? Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. Let's quit screwing around, or messing about, as people in the UK would probably say, and continue with the applying of comb to a mustache. Welcome back to What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Woman Who's Not Interested in Diet Culture or Losing Weight. You're not interested in diet culture or losing weight. Come on, give diet culture a try. It's a great culture. Starting my morning off with some good hydration. Starting my morning off with some good hydration with some water. All right, they have a comment here that reads, I have an ED and you are so worthy to eat today. Really got me and I'm eating my first actual meal in a week. Thank you. Okay, that's good. With some water. Then I toasted some chocolate chip Eggos and I put butter and Nutella on them. And it chocolate chip Eggos with butter and Nutella. These like little sandwiches. Here's me trying it. I'm deciding if I like it. Oh, I went back in for more. So of course it's good. It's sugar and carbs. That tastes delicious to every person on this planet. <laughs> you don't think that the rest of us just like don't like junk food, right? We all love it. We just don't eat it for health reasons. But yes, I feel good. For now, yeah, while you're eating that type of food and the first couple of minutes afterwards, yeah, you feel great. <laughs> it's later on down the line when it hits you. Hits you like a freight train of sugar right to the face. Do you choo choo choose me? Name that reference. Then for lunch, I had some leftover fried rice that I made the other night and I ate it while I was in class. All right, we've got another person that can't wait until their obligations are done to eat. So you had some fried rice. Let's see, is there some kind of meat in there and different stuff? You didn't really tell us. Here's me. All right, uh, what is that in the fried rice? If that's hot dogs, dude, I swear. Pulling it off because it was really hot, but like this is like a super happy dance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I swear that that's like fried rice with summer sausage or hot dogs or some kind of stuff like that in there. That's what it's looking like to me. My trained eagle eye is observing some sort of uh, cylindrical meats, perhaps, cut into slices, maybe. My belly approved. Before I went to work, I had a gift card, so I went and stopped at Cha Time. Here's. You went and stopped at Cha Time? So you went and stopped at Cha. <clears throat> I hate that. Oh, sorry, wrong series. Um, Let's get this out of here. Get it together, man. Get it together. This was Wednesday. All right, so what is this? Uh, milkshake, basically? Opinion on this. So this is my first time at Cha Time. I'm giving this taro smoothie, which is what I usually always get, a 4 out of 10. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to write this down, and then we're going to hear her explanation why this thing sucks. Taro smoothie. What the hell is that? Yeah, I'll take the taro smoothie. Extra tar. Um, what? <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> These are good jokes to me. To me, these are hilarious. Here's why. There's bits of real taro in it, and I know a lot of people would like that, but I don't like real taro. I just like the powder. All right, man. The curiosity is getting me here. I'm going to have to look up this taro thing. Hold on. All right. My research has taught me that taro is a root vegetable similar to yams. Um, but it seems like they mix the taro and the powder. So it's drinkable. It's not my favorite. I also couldn't get coconut in here because like, I like taro coconut. So that's why my rating is 4 out of 10. Those SOBs wouldn't put coconut in there? What are they doing? Now for dinner. Oh, I made garlic bread and baked potato soup. Oh man, that potato soup looks amazing. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it looks so good. You and I both know that shit tastes dang, son. All right, garlic bread and baked potato soup. So you have way too many carbs here, not enough protein. You need like five pounds of bacon in that potato soup. Oh my goodness. Look how freaking good this looks. Oh my gosh. It honestly does. Even though it's just greasy potato and stuff like that, I know how delicious a cheesy potato is, especially if you get some bacon in there and sour cream and chives. Oh my goodness, get out of here. All right, and then she says, oh my gosh, here's a garlic bread and me dipping it in the soup. Here's the garlic bread and me dipping it in the soup. Let me know if you want the recipe for this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's this orange thing on your garlic bread? Because it is immaculate. 
Yeah, the soup is not orange. So what was that orange stuff on the garlic bread? Is that cheese? And that was my day. Please remember that you are worthy to eat every single day. I'm worthy to eat every single day. Uh, thank you for that. All right, not a whole lot. Um, is this all that this person had to eat on this particular day? Was that enough to sustain somebody's body type if they are obese? I don't know. Let's take a look. All right, there's not a whole lot of volume here, but like literally everything you ate was just carbs. So you started the day off with chocolate chip waffles with butter and Nutella. It was egregious. <laughs> this is freaking egregious, man. I'm sure it was delicious, dude. But if you put some bacon in there, oh my God, get the hell out of here. What are you doing? All right, so a breakfast like that is enough to give you sticky blood. And what I mean by that is that there's so much sugar in your blood that it's sticky. All right, gross story time. Um, I once knew this dude who had the diabetes, and uh, he talked about his urine being sticky. I'm really sorry that I told you that. That's really disgusting to think about, isn't it? Stop thinking about it then. Stop thinking about it, all right? Now you can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, love. And then later on, you had some fried rice you did. Y'all are probably going to trip uh, hearing me say this, but if you have the proper ratios of, like, carbs to meat to veg, fried rice can be all right. Although it looked to me like it was mostly rice and then, like, some hot dogs or summer sausages or something like that in there. The ratio was off, baby. And then later on, you had a taro smoothie, which, as I read, is some sort of root vegetable that's popular in other countries. For dinner, you had some garlic bread and a baked potato soup that looked pretty darn tasty. Having a small amount of such a soup shouldn't be enough to put you over the edge. This is still not a whole lot of food, man. Is this enough to sustain somebody's obese body type, is my question. Those of you that count calories, um, what do you think that this is for the day? How many calories is this? And do you think it's enough to sustain obesity? Maybe we have some underreporting happening, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna give this one a 2 out of 10. I felt a little generous, so I gave it the 2. I've been trying to be a little bit nicer on these, you know, not as psychotic as usual. Points that I normally would have subtracted, I did not. Next. All right, now the next two clips are from this person. I've never seen her before, but uh, she came up in my list of recent what I eat in a day videos. So I figured we would take a look. What I eat in a day as a 260 pound fat woman. First day. What I eat in a day as a 260 pound fat woman. First I had two apple sauces with a Kool-Aid jammer. Oh yeah? And then did your parents send you off to preschool after that, or, um... <laughs> Do mom and dad know you're getting into the apple sauces? I had two apple sauces with a Kool-Aid jammer, a slice of pizza and two breadsticks, with some Coke. Another piece of pizza, Kool-Aid jammer and Muddy Buddy. Oh, dude, I think I recognize those candies, those Muddy Buddies or whatever the heck. I remember those from back in the day, if it's what I think it is. All right, then you had another piece of pizza, another Kool-Aid jammer, and some Muddy Buddies. Let me give you a piece of advice. Those Muddies are not your buddies. They're not your buddies at all, fam. Those are more like fair weather friends. They're only around when you're hungry, not around when you're feeling like crap from eating them. Probably because they're in your stomach, so that's why they're not around at that point. A fun time sucker. A fun time sucker? Hold on, what the hell was that? Let's go back. Quickie Nano. Fun time sucker. It's like a lollipop or something? I don't know, I've never seen this. Oh, wait a minute. Does that say sativa on the top there? Oh, I see. I'm glad that we went back and paused and looked at that because it said sativa on the top. I see you. I see you. Hey, nothing wrong with that, baby. But there are calories in it. <laughs> it's not some kind of edible. It's just a sucker. <laughs> Is that the most horrible, awkward wink you've ever seen? Right, guys? Oh, help me, Rhonda. Fun time sucker. A large fry. A large fry. Just one. That always cracked me up when you order fries. They'll be like, a large fry. I'll be like, can I have more than one, bro? Like, uh, you know, I got a big appetite. A large Dr. Pepper with yeah. no ice. A large Dr. Pepper with no ice. Thanks for clarifying the lack of presence of ice. Is it silly to spell out the word doctor 
when you do Dr. Pepper? A bacon McDouble. A bacon McDouble. Okay, are you eating it like in the bathroom in front of the mirror? You're about to freaking do Bloody Mary three times and wait for the presence of an apparition. <laughs> I don't know, what are we doing? Which hit the spot, an orange pop. An orange pop, more Muddy Buddies. Wait, 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 hold on. More Muddy Buddies, another Kool-Aid to get away from pop. What, another Kool-Aid to get away from pop, bro? Okay, dude, this day is like one of the most honest that I've seen. Okay, so you have an orange pop, more Muddy Buddies, and then a Kool-Aid to get you away from the pop. <laughs> okay, um... And then what is this, a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich you're about to have? Neapolitan ice cream sandwich and French toast bites. Oh my goodness. Okay, I hope there's no more because I got to the bottom of the page. I don't think this has ever happened. All right, and that's the end of that one. Um, I think we might have the most honest one that we've ever seen. This is like probably how most of these people eat every day, um, I would imagine. Let us take a look and add it up. Ooh, girl, you eating like your parents are out of town for the weekend. Oh, man. For real, though, <laughs> you started the day off with like a kindergarten breakfast, two apple sauces and a Kool-Aid jammer. What kind of breakfast is that? It's just straight up sugar. It's just straight up sugary liquid and sauce. Then later on, you had a slice of pizza, two breadsticks and a Coke. Then you had another slice of pizza, a Kool-Aid jammer, some Muddy Buddies. Then later on, you decided to get the party started with a fun time sucker. So is all this stuff that comes after the fun time sucker uh, the result of the fun time sucker? Your appetite really started picking up <laughs> from that fun time sucker. You gotta watch out for that. Then you had some McDonald's fries, a large Dr. Pepper, and some bacon McDouble action. Dude, you have so many sugary drinks on this day, my goodness. Dude, there's gotta be like, what, 1,500 calories worth of sugary drinks alone? Once again, those of you that add calories, dude, let me know what you think <laughs> about this one. Then you had an orange soda, more Muddy Bites, and another Kool-Aid Jammer to make you stop drinking the orange soda, I, I guess. Um, did you not finish the orange soda, though? You took a sip of it, and you're like, nuts to this. I'm gonna have a Kool-Aid Jammer. That'll stop me from drinking this sugary nonsense. Some more sugary nonsense. All right, and then you also had a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich and some French toast bites. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, man. There's so much sugar and bread in this particular day, my friends. Okay, man. This is like watching a car crash, dude. I swear to Rhonda. I'm gonna have to give this one a... 1 out of 10. Why didn't I give it 0 out of 10, you might ask? I don't know. I'm a mysterious dude. <laughs> you never know what I'm gonna do. Boom! Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Sorry, I'll stop doing that immediately. Um, alright, let's, let's take a look at the next one. I mean, next? The next clip is by the same person that we just watched, so I'm anticipating a similar day, a similar level of honesty. Honestly, I respect the honesty, though. Unfortunately, honesty doesn't give you any more points in this particular scenario, but I respect it. She's not over there like, I don't even eat, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Some people are like, for breakfast, one nibble of a piece of lettuce. For lunch, a couple whiffs of a sandwich. I didn't eat it, I just smelled it. For dinner, I soaked in some Epsom salt. <laughs> what? No, you didn't, man. How are you still 500 pounds then? Other people. I'm talking about other people. Next. I ate in a day as a 260 pound fat woman. I wish I had some almond. Okay. Um, so are we counting that sandwich or not? Because you didn't talk about it. Um, are you about to get to that? Maybe I should just be patient, huh? Milk and cinnamon toast crunch. With some Kool-Aid, it says. Dude. Get this Kool-Aid out of this girl's house, please. You'll be doing her a, f a huge favor if you get this out of her house. With some Kool-Aid. Bruv. All right, so <laughs> almond milk, cinnamon toast crunch, and Kool-Aid. My boyfriend surprised me with a strawberry shake. Another- Okay, so I'm not seeing her mention that sandwich in the beginning, so I guess I'll just add that in there. Dude, 
Dude, you drink a lot of Kool-Aid. Just so you know, it's no better for you than soda, dude. Kool-Aid. Club sandwich from McAllister's with a pickle and some potatoes. Oh man, that sandwich looks really good, dude. Okay, so I'm not gonna add this again. I'm gonna assume that this is the sandwich from the beginning, right? Although we can update it now to say a club sandwich. A damn good looking sandwich, I'm telling you. With a pickle and some potato salad. All right, now we're going too carby here. Salad. And the best lemonade. Too many sugary drinks, my friend. Lemonade and then another Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Oh, I guess I misspelled Neapolitan before. On the last one, I put Neapolitan ice cream sandwich, I think. Which I guess would be like when Neo tries an ice cream sandwich for the first time. Like, Whoa, dude, like, what is the Matrix, dude? Keanu Reeves has amazing acting. They're like, give me an actor who seems like he doesn't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> it's for the role. <laughs> like, in the movie, he's like, what is the Matrix, dude? So, like, it made sense, right? He's like, like, bruh, what, like, is the Matrix? Um... Morphe's? <laughs> Scream sandwich. Another Kool-Aid. Bruh. Get these Kool-Aids out of here, dude. You are not doing yourself any service with all of these Kool-Aids, madam. Ended the day with two packs of Teddy Grahams. Two packs of Teddy Grahams. Not as much volume on this particular day, but still a lot of uh, sugary carbs and stuff like that. Let's take a look. All right, you started the day off with some almond milk and cinnamon toast crunch. I'm surprised you had any kind of milk in the cinnamon toast crunch and uh, not Kool-Aid. <laughs> she said for breakfast, I poured Kool-Aid into some cinnamon toast crunch, and then I poured some sugar on top of that. It wasn't sweet enough. All right, man, all those processed carbs and sugar are gonna go right to the dome piece, homie, as we all know. You did have a club sandwich, okay? That is some kind of food. We have some actual food taking place within this day. That's good, that's real good, man. I'm, I wanna give you five points just for the sandwich alone, just to try to bring this thing up, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. Then you had a strawberry shake and another freaking Kool-Aid, dude. Get these Kool-Aids away from this poor person. And you had a pickle and potato salad with that sandwich. Later on, you had lemonade and a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich, some more Kool-Aid, AKA devil juice, and two packs of Teddy Grahams. Okay, man, um, this is a hard one to score. Let me see here. Mm, I think we're gonna have a very similar score as the last one. All right, I'm gonna have to give this day a one out of 10. Technically, it should be a zero out of 10 because all that sugary stuff deleted any point that you received from the club sandwich because that was the only real food that you ate all day. But I'm feeling generous. Bruv, you gotta start eating some actual food. Like the sandwich, that's a great start. Eat some meat, dude. <laughs> Unless you're vegan, then don't eat meat. I recommend that you start eating more protein, um, straight up, and vegetables. It's just straight up sugary carbs all day and Kool Aid. Nothing but sugar and carbs, sugar and carbs. I tried so hard, but then I ate sugary carbs. And now there's no end, so it doesn't really matter. I look forward to covering this person more in the future. They have a very interesting dietary choice. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.